Hey, yo, bros and mofos, the hell's going down? It's only about Kato Dia, and we have finally made it all the way here to the freaking Temple of the Fates, where we will be summing up the fight with the sisters, determining Kratos' fate, or Kratos' fate, and in the next episode we will be fighting Zeus again and uh, changing our fate for good. So, the Sisters of Fate. Uh, I've talked about them before. Um, if you guys are not familiar with them, they are considered some of the most um, powerful beings in Greek mythology. Above the gods, above the titans. They determine when someone starts their life, when someone ends their life, and uh, they also allow uh, changing of destinies and uh, stuff like that. So if you uh, seek an audience with them and they actually allow you uh, what you're wanting, then you can change your fate or whatever. So. Um, we'll actually be seeing that Kratos doesn't seek an audience with them. He seeks to uh, kill them and <laughs> change his destiny on his own. He's not about asking anybody for anything. Uh, which I've heard that in the new God of War to be released in just two days of me making this video, that Kratos changes. Kratos is a little bit older, a bit more mature thanks to uh, his, I don't know, he, I mean, he looks like an old man in the new one, so I think he's, it, it might be up to 20, I'd say it's probably at least 20 years after God of War 3, and I could be wrong, I really don't know, but uh, he does seem a bit more mature, level-headed, and uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Like, being able to play all these God of Wars within the same month most of them being new to me, aside from the first one and God of War 2 here. Uh, I'm just, I'm loving it. I'm really enjoying it all. Even if it's, you know, I'm aware that they probably, um, which they're not so far because I'm covering a really old game, but uh, not really going to bring in a lot of traffic uh, as far as views and stuff, but I'm not really worried about it. I'm just trying to get the story out on my channel for everyone to uh, be able to see even if it's sooner or later um, but playing it really I just I had to choose a game uh, that I really enjoyed I, I don't really do like let's plays or walkthroughs a lot of people know me for admin commands on ARK uh, Survival Evolved and uh, I, not not for let's plays and stuff like that but I was like man the new God of War is coming out I really gotta get caught up I might as well just if I'm going to be playing through them all anyway, I might as well just make videos about them. So, uh, other people that maybe aren't familiar with Kratos' story can get caught up to speed. I've been expecting you. Out of my way. Your result is admirable. Even if it is misguided. None can change their destiny, Kratos. We sisters determine the fate of all. It was I who deemed that the Titans lose the Great War, and I who have allowed you to come this far. It is not your destiny to kill Zeus. You no longer control my destiny. I see Gaia has filled you with her lies. I have warned you. Let me pass. <laughs> you have always amused us, Kratos. But know this, mortal. There is no power greater than the Sisters of Fate. If you challenge us, you will die. 
Okay, so this is Lachesis. Uh, Lachesis is the sister that determines when someone starts uh, their life. Basically, basically, she's the one that, uh, what was it, starts the thread of life or something like that. I don't, I don't remember really. But uh, basically, yeah, she's the one that determines when someone starts their life. That's why she looks almost, uh, she kind of resembles like an angel. Uh, more of like a holy, the holier of the city, uh, the sisters. And we'll also see in a minute that uh, her second, her other sister, uh, Tropos, is the one that ends lives. She looks more deathly and nasty looking. And then there's going to be Clotho. So Clotho's the interesting one. She's huge. Way huge. Because she sits around spinning the thread of life, keeping it going. And I just want to state, this boss fight, I mean, if you know what you're doing, uh, this is my second playthrough. Actually, you do not defy fate, Kratos. For we have woven the events of your life. And now. Life is at an end. <laughs> we control your destiny, foolish mortal! With a win, we can end your life! <laughs> or allow you to live. Search your memory, Kratos. The sword which you stand on delivered your victory against Ares. Without it, you will be the one who dies this day, not Ares. We can change your past. Okay, so this is a Tropos. This is the other sister I was talking about. Uh, she's the one that looks almost deathly because she determines when uh, someone dies. And so, she took us back to when we killed the uh, God of War, Ares, or the former God of War at least, uh, back in the first God of War, where uh, we were about to fight him and Kratos grabbed this sword to kill him with. So what she's doing is trying to break the sword so that Kratos doesn't have the opportunity to uh, use it against Ares and ultimately will die on this day.
This power was never meant for a mortal like you! So, basically what we just witnessed, uh, Tropos gets stuck in the, uh, reversal of time. So she gets stuck in that little time frame. And, uh... And is trying to get back out. Now, Lakesis thinks she can take me on. But basically, I mean, all we have to do is uh, keep fighting Lachesis, watch out for her attacks, and break the glass that uh, Tropos is trying to come out of. So, you can see once we make it to the, uh, the uh, Temple of the Fates, like we have, it, they're pretty quick to throw in all of the sisters uh, as quickly as possible. So, we've already defeated Lachesis and Atropos at once, and we've already found Clothos. Or Clotho. We just have to fight uh, probably like five or six waves of uh, bad guys to get to her. Then we'll do a little bit of puzzle figuring out, and then we'll be able to kill her.
just trying to get through this as quickly as I can just by doing like infinite magic attacks. So anyway, I was saying earlier about um, Kratos and the new God of War. Prothero weaves the thread of life for every mortal god and titan. Find your thread, and you will be able to control the mirrors of the fates, the source of their power, and use them as a gateway to return to the time when Zeus betrayed you. Anyway, basically, he's a bit more mature and uh, thinks about his actions. He's not so gung-ho on just killing anything and everything.
Yeah, this puzzle, it's really not, it's not difficult. Um, if you guys are playing this for the walkthrough, uh, I've kind of just uh, relaxed a bit while watching, uh, trying to figure this out. I think it's very hard to tell what the best thing about Clotho is. <laughs> How tickle bit is, you know what I mean?
So if you guys missed it, the reason Clotho here is so big and uh, surrounded by all these tools is because she's the sister responsible for keeping life going. She ultimately has like the most, uh, I don't know, I want to say the most responsibility uh, out of all of the si all three sisters. Uh, so she doesn't move from here. So she's like, that's why she's just, I don't know, I don't know it's weird that she's just ginormous, but uh, it makes sense. She's got layers and layers of uh, tools that she's that have been built around her as well as layers of arms and multiple hand like multiple hands I don't know why she has so many breasts though but <laughs> anyway dudes I'm gonna cut it here after killing Clotho and uh, we'll resume right back with changing Kratos's fate fighting Zeus and ending God of War 2 so I will catch you guys on the flip-flop